<laughs> what does it come kya aata hai dimag mein what does it come to your head when i did this <laughs> i'm sure you must be remembering some serial which you saw in your childhood you know where some tantric comes and does mm. <laughs> because of which you are feeling oh there's a spell on me now you know somebody has done black magic or some vashikaran or something well irrespective of if somebody has done it or not how do you come out of it okay this is very important so what i am going to tell you today will help you for vashikaran black magic spell whatever you you go to youtube and it's all over the place all right essentially some negative evil energy is there of course now there are a lot of mundane ways to deal with it you know there are some like you know stones which absorb negativity and all this that's fine and there are so many other things you know there are thousand other things but these remedies i have seen are very temporary okay so therefore you can do all these remedies which are there out in youtube nothing wrong with it but if you include the remedies that i will tell you you will be much much better protected along with the other remedies okay so the first remedy if if you fear that somebody has done you know vashikaran or spell or something like that on you then is you should read the vishnu sahasranam every day so vishnu sahasranam is very powerful because it is literally sahasranam thousand names of vishnu right so <clears throat> vishnu sahasranam is very powerful because it it it's not just the names of lord vishnu not not just not just the names okay well saying oh why should i just chant the name no it's not just the names okay <clears throat> with every name there is the story there is energy there is bhav there is bhakti there is protection there is you know, there is faith everything is there so initially if you don't know the vishnu sahasranam just read it but if you know if you know it with the meaning then it's better so if you read the vishnu sahasranam every day especially in the morning then these negative energies will not be able to impact you of course it does not mean that it will you know like white wash things but because you yourself you will act at a different level at a different plane so it will not be able to affect you in a negative sense or maybe beyond a certain extent okay it's like saying you know healthy people can also get sick but even if they get sick they will recover compared to an unhealthy person so this means if you read the vishnu sahasranam every day and there is some black magic done on you then you will come out of it very soon okay so this is the first remedy very 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 important and then the next remedy is every day you can chant these three mantras which i have spoken many many times so mantras are very powerful because they help us empower our inner consciousness they literally empower us actually mana trai which delivers the mind the way to control the mind because why am i saying mantras because these energies will come and attack your mind okay so if you feel that your mind is getting hampered and you know you are experiencing negativity and all this then along with the vishnu sahasranam you should read you should chant these three mantras so the first mantra is om namo bhagavate vasudevaya this is the mantra for bhagwan vasudev who is non different from krishna himself is krishna actually the son of vasudev <laughs> and this mantra is specifically very 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 important for the fourth house if you have a damaged fourth house in general even if there is no vashikaran or spell or anything black magic you can still chant this mantra it's very important then the next mantra is for the eighth house which is you know om namo narayanaya this is primarily chanted in the shri vaishnava tradition and this was you know given by the great ramanuja acharya himself you know so if you chant this mantra this mantra will give you freedom from all fears because many times when there is black magic done on you 
you may get fears you know you may see things you know you, you may experience hallucination illusion delusion hallucination so illusion delusion hallucination all the three can be there or you could get uh, you you could not get sleep in the night you you may see horrendous dreams you know dreams of somebody murdering somebody you know or somebody you know some violent crime is going on so if you if you have any problem with your subconscious mind if you feel you know somebody is staring at you or somebody ooh, there's somebody you know <laughs> or somebody is you know uh, trying to harm you in some way okay so then you should chant this mantra om namo narayanaya om namo narayanaya <laughs> boom <laughs> What is the next mantra? The next mantra is the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, which is mentioned in the Kali Santra and Upanishad and uh, propagated by uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which is prominently chanted in the Gaudiya version of Sampradaya. No, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. This is the mantra for the sixth house. The sixth house has all the weaknesses. And sixth house, if not controlled, then what happens? You are inherently very weak because you are very vulnerable to temptations. So when you chant this mantra, there are three things in this mantra. Hare, Rama and Krishna. So the Hare is actually referring to Srimati Radharani, but in astrology, this refers to Jupiter. And Rama, as you know, refers to the sun and Krishna refers to the moon. Right. So when you chant this mantra, you are investing the power of these three planets Jupiter, Sun and Moon in your 6th house. Because among the 9 planets, except Jupiter, Sun, Moon, except these 3, if you take the rest of the 6 planets, they give some kind of anarthas in you. They give some kind of <coughs> weaknesses in you. You know, like Venus gives you Kama, then Mars gives you Kurodha. Okay, so like that. So if you know which planet represents what, all the 6, please let write it down in the comments and let me see who makes it at the earliest who's the winner let let's see all right so these three mantras will help you like magic okay so number four the third remedy which you can do is you can do some yagya for yagya of lord narsimha if bhagwan narsimha yagya narsimha's yagya you can do so if you have any narsimha temple nearby and there's a bona fide pujari you can do the yagya then do it because Narsing Dev is the Vishnu Avatara for Mangal. And Mangal is the Lagnesh, right? He is the Naisargic Lagnesh, which means he is the Lord of the first house when it comes to the Kalpurush Kundli, which is Aries. So therefore, Mars has the duty to protect your body. Not only body, you know, your physical existence, rather. Or at least your body. Okay, let's discount it now. <laughs> because when they do black magic and all this vashikaran crap then it can come and hit you physically you you may fall sick you may get headache you may do vomiting you know you may pass stool and urine more than you are doing or you may not pass at all so it's very important that you protect your body you know if you cannot protect your body whew, then everything else is just a detail so when you when you do narsima yagya then what happens is if it is done properly, if it is done in a bona fide way, then you can get benefits uh, physically. Physically means, you know, many times I see people who are you know, extremely sick and they do this yagya. And if it is done with a lot of faith, devotion, power and energy and prayers, then this mantra can, uh, this yagya, you know, this fire sacrifice can elevate you miraculously. Okay, so... This is a very extreme remedy sometimes, which is, you know, which need not be done all the time. But if there is an Arsima temple near you and if you, if you want to uh, be sure that you are out of any negative influences, then maybe it's time you do it. Okay, very, very, very important. So, apart from this third Narsima Yagya remedy, you can do fasting. See why, what happens is, why you should fast if you know you doubt that there is you know some uh, vashikaran done to you because 
whenever this negative energy comes, they also feast on what is there in your body. So if your body is deprived of food, now fasting does not mean starving, okay? So maybe if you are eating three times, try to eat one time or two times. If you are eating two times, try to eat one time. So when you are fasting, what will happen? You know, as um, Ayurveda also says, you know, fasting is the best remedy, right? What is that shloka? Langanam parama oshadam or something like that. So it's very important that we learn to fast. Okay. Because fasting will help us keep our mind calm. You see, when you fast, the day when you fast, you know, your mind is very sharp. Your mind is like very clear. And the day you are, you know, either eating wrong things or eating too much more than necessary, you will see, you know, your mind is always disturbed. You feel very lazy, lethargic. So even if you cannot fast, at least you should not overeat or you should not eat all you know all this non-veg uh alcohol you know intoxication and all this so you should stay away from all this okay <clears throat> then the next fifth remedy very 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 powerful remedy you should take a trip to a holy place and take take a dip in that river so every holy place as you know in ayodhya there is the saryunadi in banaras <clears throat> or any any other place you go right <clears throat> So, if you go to Vrindavan, you know, you will find Yamuna Devi there. So, you can go to Haridwar, Gangaji is there. So, wherever, whichever holy place is near to you, go there and take a dip in that holy river. Every holy place will have a holy river. Most of them or maybe all. <laughs> because holy places are surcharged with powerful spiritual vibrations. So the moment you enter there, it will it will be nullified. Because the holy place is because, you know, some devata or some avatar had appeared. And because of that, you know, there is a lot of potency. So if you know how to harness the energy of the holy place, so try to do all these other remedies by going to that holy place. That will help you even more. Okay. So and this is very important because this will this will take you to the next level. Okay. And the last and the most important, this is this is classic, this is gold. This is, you know, pray to your, pray to God. Why? So, so now when I say God, you can pray to Krishna, you can, you know, if you, you are <clears throat> in general praying to Shiva or Ganesh or Kartike or you know, Lakshmi Ji, Durga Ji, you can pray. So when you pray, what happens is you get empowered to deal with this. So, praying will not, it may, but most likely it will not change what is there in your destiny. It doesn't. But what it does is, it gives you more strength to deal with it. Because all these crap of black magic, Pashikaran and all this nonsense will only be able to affect you if you are mentally weak. So, if you have faith and trust in a higher power, then what happens is, you don't succumb to all this. Even if you succumb, it's temporary, you come out. All right, so therefore, if you pray, you can pray in your language, you can read the commentaries of the Acharyas, you know, you can read Queen Kunti prayers in the Srimad Bhagavatam first canto. Brilliant, all right. So, uh, you can pray, and then what happens, you receive empowerment, and you can actually get rid of all the problems that you have, okay, or at least you get the power to handle all. The crap that is thrown to you. Because as Kali Yuga is advancing, these, these nonsensical activities are increasing and people are you know, doing, doing all this more and more. So when all this nonsense is going on in your life, then you need to understand that God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. All right. So don't worry. Take shelter of God. Take shelter of Narasimha Yagya, chanting the mantras, Vishnu Sastanam, go to holy places, take blessings of your deity, the Devata Bhagavan that you are inspired by, and then you will be protected. All right. Thank you so much for your patience. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And for personalized horoscope consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Ooh.
You must look to him now. You see, it's dead in the night. Thank you. <laughs> Jai Siyaram.